Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Yesterday, SpaceX successfully launched the Transporter 7 mission on a Falcon 9 rocket. One, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Transporter 7. Go Falcon, go Transporter. The booster which launched this mission, B-1063, then landed successfully for the tenth time on the landing pad at landing zone 4. Stage 1 landing burn. Great call out there, that landing burn has begun, you can see it right there. Landing light deployed. Stage one landing confirmed. And as you saw and probably heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four. The next Starlink launch is scheduled for this coming week. The Starlink 6-2 mission is currently scheduled for Wednesday 19th at 1.33 p.m. UTC or 9.33 a.m. EDT. SpaceX posted a couple of tweets related to the MVAC engine they flew on this transporter mission. The first says a shorter second stage nozzle will be used when we don't need as much performance to get the payload to its final destination. Then they also posted we'll still fly the full sized MVAC nozzles on missions that require a more significant amount of thrust or contain a heavier payload. Heading to Boca Chica, SpaceX did some testing of the Fire X system. The orbital launch mount was seen being painted. Something happened at Starbase with this video posted on Twitter of sparks and a bang inside the launch tower. It's believed something to do with the elevator broke, but fortunately there's been no indication of any injuries. There was some flame diverter equipment seen in the production yard. As you'll likely be aware by now, it's finally official, SpaceX have a launch license from the FAA. It says Space Exploration Technologies Corp is authorized subject to the provisions of 51 USC Subtitle 5 Chapter 509 and the orders, rules and regulations issued under it to conduct launches of the Starship Super Heavy Vehicle. There was a tweet posted related to a statement from the FAA. It says FAA statement on Super Heavy Starship license. After a comprehensive license evaluation process, the FAA determined SpaceX met all safety, environmental, policy, payload, airspace integration and financial responsibility requirements. The license is valid for five years. SpaceX posted a tweet confirming their intention to attempt a Starship launch as soon as tomorrow, Monday 17th. They said targeting as soon as Monday, April 17th for the first test of a fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy rocket from Starbase in Texas. Of course, with SpaceX planning to launch tomorrow, there is a closure for tomorrow, Monday 17th with backups on Tuesday 18th and Wednesday 19th. There is a Starship test noise advisory on the Cameron County website as well with information about when the test window opens. It says SpaceX is targeting as soon as Monday, April 17th for the first integrated flight test of Starship from Starbase in Cameron County, Texas. The 150 minute test window opens at 7am Central Time. Musk posted a picture on Twitter of the mission patch for the Starship test flight which looks super cool. Whilst we have all of this exciting news regarding the Starship launch being tomorrow, Musk posted a tweet. He said, I have a feeling it might get delayed 3 days. There was a response asking, oh, so it's not happening? Musk responded to that with, there is massive uncertainty with a new launch. We don't know exactly when it will fly. Starship 24 was de-stacked from Booster 7 one last time for final launch preparations. On Friday, SpaceX armed the FTS or flight termination system for Ship 24. They also armed the Booster 7 FTS. Yesterday, it was also restacked in preparation for the first full stack test flight, hopefully this coming week. SpaceX posted these pictures of the fully stacked vehicle. Crews were seen inside the Ship 25 payload section. Ship 26 continues to be worked on at the Rocket Garden. Ship 28 was seen spinning in the high bay. The Booster 11 downcomer was installed inside the mega bay. As always, I have to say thanks to Jack Bayer for filming the Boca Chica content. Also, thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. 
That's it for this episode of the SpaceX show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.